Okay. Right now, um, if you go here to events, there is an icon here that allows you to simulate. There is an icon over there at the top that allows you to access the events. Okay. If you click there, you can see here, you can see here, this is this is the short circuit event that you already defined. And also, if you want to edit, you just double click here and you can see this is the event that you create. This is the short circuit event. The time is zero, zero, zero. That means zero seconds. You can see over here, zero seconds. And the object that we are applying, that we are applying the short circuit is the HB boost bar, this boost bar over here. Okay. And here we are defining a three phase short circuit on the boost bar HB and the resistance and the reactance, they are zero. Okay. Let's close here. Okay. First step done. First step, define the disturbance. That is done. No problem. Next step. The next step is I would like to show you some numerical results. I want to show you some numerical results from the time domain simulation. As I say in my videos, because you know, I, I spend hours talking in the videos. Um, as I say in my videos, um, Power Factory has thousands of variables that you can plot that you can use for your assessment, for your coursework, for your projects. Okay. There are many variables and those variables, they are extremely useful, but because there are thousands of variables and when you solve the time domain simulation, those variables require memory space, power factory, power factory is, is the allowing the user to define the variables that they want to assess. If you follow my course, my pointer here, there is an icon that is extremely important at the top. And that very specific icon is extremely important because over there, if you click that, that icon is the one that allow you to see the result variables that we have. Okay. You can see over here, variable selection. And at this moment, there is not, there is nothing here. There is nothing here because power factory by default is not having any variable include in the memory. For that reason, you must define by yourself the variables that you want to explore or later the variables that you want to plot for that reason close here press close here and again because my student complained that i spent so many hours in the videos what i will do is the following okay i will use the basic method i can spend here more time explaining more details and so on but my student won the short version okay right button I select the generator. Okay. I select the generator with a single click. Then I select the right button click. And then you have the possibility of going here, define and results for simulations RMS. Okay. As you can see over there, it's extremely, extremely simple. What I am doing is basically right, bo uh, right button on the generator then results for simulation RMS. Okay. If you click over there, if you click over there, what you can see is that power factory automatically, automatically is creating a object result. Okay. Now we can see here in the object result, the name of this object is G G because that is the name of this synchronous generator over here. Okay. That is the object. And if we double click, I'm sorry, let me do it again because my student can complain. If we double click here, what is the interesting thing that power factory power factory is 
by default giving you a number of select variables. Power Factory is making your life easy because there are few variables here that they are already defined and ready for you. For instance, the power turbine, the terminal voltage, the excitation current, positive sequence active power, positive sequence reactive power, current, blah, 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 etc. Of course, of course, because my students, they only want the short version. They must read the technical documentation and they must understand the meaning of every single of those variables. Okay, good. Let me close here. Let me close here. And now I will do something similar, okay? I will do something similar, okay? Right button, define RMS results. Done. Now we have an object for results coming from this transformer, okay? And you can see again, there are some predefined data here, okay? Power Factory already make your life easy and include some results over there. Then let me do the same here at the transmission line, right button, define RMS, and we have results for line number one. And now let me do the same, let me do the same, let me define results for AMT, RMS, okay? Line number two. Finally, there is some. There is something. Uh, there is only one thing uh, missing, and the only thing that is missing is that. Um, the only thing. The only thing that I need to have a look over here is the external grid. Okay, right now in the external grid, I will do define. Okay, define, and again result simulations and right now you can see you can see here g the infinity boost bar line one line two line three okay again those names that you look over here they are connected with network objects okay network objects and inside every single of those they are result variables okay I will repeat again. I will repeat again. We can go here and here you can see the less the list of objects that we are collecting data. Those names, of course, they are connected with every single network component here. And they are they are connected with those components over here. And if you double click one of them, of course, there are many variables, okay? There are many variables already predefined by Power Factory. Okay. Okay, close. Now we are almost ready to run a simulation here. Okay. We are almost ready to run a simulation. Okay. And the simulation is extremely simple. What we will do is the following. Again, remember initial conditions. Let me, let me clear here the output window, okay? Because I want my students to see everything here. Oh, Jesus, this, this cursor is killing me. This pointer is killing me. Okay, let me run initial conditions. And as you can see over here, everything is fine. Power Factory is telling you that there is a reference boost bar, okay? The nominal frequency 50 Hertz. We already know that. And then power factory say initial conditions calculated. Okay. Something very interesting that you can see over here. The time is minus 100 milliseconds. Okay. Well, we don't have time to explain that here. You can read more on the user manual because then, then the student complained that I am spending so much time. But let me let me start here the simulation. Okay, the next step is press here the button. Okay, and we need to define we need to define the time that we will use to run the simulation. Okay, okay. Let me reduce here. Let me put here. Um, five seconds okay let me use five seconds 
In a minute, I will reduce this number, but let me use five seconds, okay? And right now you can press here, execute, okay? Mm, I will do it again, okay? You select here, the command, the command simulation. You select here, the time, I say five seconds. And now I will press execute. ta -da! Something that is very important for you, okay? Something that is extremely, extremely important for you. Power Factory has run the simulation. Every time that you run a simulation, please go to the output window and read those messages, okay? Because Power Factory is talking to you. Here you can see at t equals zero, zero milliseconds, a short circuit is inserted, okay? And the interesting thing is, look over here, there is a small lightning symbol over here, and this small uh, lightning symbol is representing the short circuit happening in the H boost bar, okay? And of course, because this is a solid or bolted short circuit, you can see that the voltage is zero, okay? But coming back here to my explanation, you can see zero, is the starting point of the short circuit. And then here, Power Factory tells you, uh oh, something is happening. At 1.072 seconds, generator out of step or pull slip. Okay? And this is, this is extremely important because Power Factory is telling you something extremely, extremely important. The first one is, the first one is, Power Factory is telling you, Power Factory is telling you that the synchronous machine is out the step. Out the step is losing the synchronism. I mean, Power Factory is making your life easy here, and Power Factory is telling you that if you are assessing the rotor angle stability, Power Factory is already telling you, telling you, that this system is unstable. This system is unstable because the synchronous machine is losing the synchronism, okay? Another name for losing the synchronism, there are several synonyms, okay? There are several terms that they can be used for indicating loss of synchronism. Out the step is one of the, one of the phrases. Pull a slip is another phrase. But again, Power Factory is telling you, is telling you that this system already is not stable, rotor angle is stable, okay? And finally, the last, the last comment over here is that Power Factory is telling you that the simulation was executed, successfully executed, and that was at five seconds, okay? Okay. Um, this is the first part. Now, let me do the following. Now, what I will, what I want to do, what I want to do is, I would like to see the plots. I want to see the time domain response. Because the time domain response, the time domain response is the only way, the only way that you can't, is the only way that you can't have a proper understanding about the phenomenon, okay? 